Well, you know what? If when you hear even just the word vegan, you think, oh, I don't know. Oh, it doesn't sound uh, like I could really, you know, fill up my tummy if I'm a vegan. But that is absolutely not true. And we are not shy of taste either. Exactly. This is Sasha Raj. She's the owner of 24 Carats Natural Cafe and Juice Bar. And we're making one of these right now and what do you call this? I call it a collard wrap and I get kind of fancy with the filling and I call it a two no collard wrap. <laughs> a two no. It's like the untuna. Exactly. It's the untuna. Exactly. Okay, so this is kind of interesting what you're using to wrap with. Yeah, normally we cook these down. I think we're everyone's used to that, like and, braised and they are, collard greens. They are but these are raw. Collard greens. They are collard greens. Okay. And the first step Big you want to do greens. is yes, you want to get one that's at least the size of your hand and then you want to devein it, which means you're just gonna shave off the vein very much like this. Okay, so you're not taking the vein out. You're not. You, you need could that. if you really wanted to, but it just makes a big hole in your in your Yeah, uh, and I wrap, hate so. when that happens. I know, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, so then we're going to Oh, make... I see. So you're going to put them together. Exactly. We're creating like exactly, that, like, exactly a like a little wrap. Yeah. Okay. A collard so green burrito. We're going to make our little filling. Our two no filling starts with sunflower seeds. Okay. And then raw. we're going to put a yes, raw sunflower seeds and we're going to put a little bit of cashew and coconut. Uh, cream inside. I have the recipe, I think, on our website. Like, Cashew and coconut cream. I know. Cream? It's that so sounds delicious. So decadent. Well, it's it's in lieu of mayo. Okay. And we're using this, okay. and then um, whatever oh, show veggies everybody you see. might have. We're using celery and onion and some red bell pepper and a little bit of parsley. Okay. In there. So. Do you do you do everything organic as well? Yeah, we try okay. actually to champion local farms, which yeah. is what's you know what's amazing is we grow so much stuff here and what's a little this? bit of seaweed. Ooh. So this is what gives it that oceany flavor. Okay. So a little bit of seaweed or dulse. It gives it the, the tuna flavor. The tuna the flavor. <laughs> to know. You know when people say it tastes like the ocean, I was like, well, close. Close. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then you just kind of pulse it down. Now, what I want everybody to know is what you did prior to that is you took some of the I seeds did. and you really, you really did like pulsed it first. Yeah, so kind of made it a, nice and crumbly. Okay. And this is actually. You don't want to do that too, too much, that though, right? No, it'll become like a spread or a hummus. So it looks like this. Oh. And then from here, we just build a wrap. So you can take a nice little heap. You want to use maybe a fourth of a cup, not too much more than that. You know, when, you, when I first saw this, it, to me, I, I, at first I thought it was quinoa or, you know, <laughs> It does or look kind of like that. And to be honest, you could put any of those things in here, and it would be delicious. I, I mean, bet. you can wrap virtually and it's like a burrito you can everything with right it. it's whatever your your taste buds so I like to like. add a few extra veggies a little bit of salt and pepper and I want to uh, I point this out once again because I'm still amazed by this it's what gave your kale chips so much flavor um, it's what is this called again? nutritional yeast nutritional yeast is this something easy to find absolutely you can find it at most supermarkets and especially like natural food stores and you used it as a seasoning it's fantastic I actually like making popcorn and putting a little bit on ooh, it and it tastes like oh, cheesy popcorn ooh, okay so here we go so All up right. and over just like a burrito and then done Look at that. Cut it. You serve this at the cafe? We do. We make it a little bit bigger at the cafe and put all kinds of things. Apple is really great in here. Ooh, um, but yeah. that's what it looks like. That's and it makes gorgeous. a great, happy, small bite, or it does great for a larger meal. And a side of chips. These are the kind of the side exactly. of chips. Exactly. Or you with want, like right? a little hummus on the side. <laughs> you can dip into it and you can oh. go wild with this. It's, oh, woo, say it. I know. It's so, Sasha. <laughs> okay, we're getting wild here. Okay, and it's it's the untuna. We'll just leave it at that. The untuna. And, and pull that out real quick because I want to show everybody what you're making next. And this is dessert, but this you is. won't believe. Wait until you find out what the main ingredient of this chocolate parfait is, Susan. It's going to rock your world. Oh, my goodness. Well, 